I want to just do a quick overview of MySQL and how to manage that. So let's go back into the terminal. Now that we have the MySQL username and password, what we can do is just type in MySQL dash u root for the username and dash p. And what we'll do is we'll enter in this password right here. And I'll just copy and paste that in since iTerm allows me to do that. And it should bring you into the MySQL console where you can start to manage things and see what the database looks like. If you prefer to have a graphical interface, I'll show you how to get PHP My Admin set up in just a bit. Some basic commands would be to show your databases and make sure you put the semicolon at the end of your commands and you should see that there are some databases set up here. Should you have to install a database in the future to maybe install another site on this droplet, you can do that really easily. Just come into this MySQL console area and type in create create database and I'll just put something super simple. So I'll just put sites underscore WordPress as my database. I'll make sure that I put the semicolon. I'll press enter and then boom you'll see that okay the query was fine it went through one row was effective if, if I press the up arrow twice I should be able to show the databases again and I'll see that sites underscore WP has been created then we can go ahead and go into the database itself so use sites WP and we can start creating some tables if we have to um, alternatively we can just take the root username and password assign it to another WordPress installation and just give it this database name and then WordPress can go ahead and create all those tables for you. So it's really easy to do that within the MySQL count console. So let's exit out of the console. All right, and we're back into our regular command line. I'll just clear everything up so that it's easier to read. Now let's say that you want PHP MyAdmin installed because you prefer a graphical interface. Well, we can go ahead and we can get that installed using sudo apt-get install dash y PHP my admin. All right, so let's get that installed. All right, so Ubuntu went ahead and installed that for us. Now, if we go back into our browser and then we just take, and then we just add PHP my admin, PHP my admin to the end of it, end of our domain name, and just press enter, we'll be brought to our PHP admin login where we can use that, that same MySQL login. So I'll clear this up and then I'll cat that .my.config file again. And if we use the same login right here, which I'll grab right here, root at WP domain. You'll see that I got right into the PHP My Admin, and we can start to manage our databases here. So just like I showed you within the MySQL console, we can go ahead and create a database just going to this databases area and creating a database here. So I can put WP underscore sites, and then I can click on create, and you'll see that it went ahead and it created the WP sites right here. You can see the database is there and you can use that for other sites if you wish to. So the changes that are reflected in here are also reflected within the WP console. So you can use either one of those to set up or manage your MySQL databases. If you guys have any comments about this video, please feel free to comment below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks.